Hi, it's James from Hidden Depths Coaching. Uh, my Monday clip today, what, what I thought I would talk about is the, the, the story that holds us back in our life, right? So there's a couple of things that are, that are factual. And one of the things that's really, really factual is you can't change anything that's happened. So there's a reason why the energy of grief and the energy of regret are the same. And it's because one thing is, you know, when you're going through a grieving process, no matter how much you want that person back, you can't bring them back. In the same way an event that's happened in your life, no matter how much you want to change that event, it doesn't matter how much you look at it, you will never ever change that event. So what I thought I would talk about is how you how you start changing the way you look at that event, how you start turning that event into something that's, you know, maybe going to drive you forward, maybe going to make you make some changes in your life. <clears throat> and as I said, the event, you know, the event itself can never be changed, right? But we've got these stories that we tell ourselves, and believe it or not, one of the things that's holding you back from moving forward is that you don't want to invalidate your story. So maybe, you know, this story's tied up in a, a relationship you've left or somebody's treated you really badly or, you know, somebody's betrayed you in some way. So there's something that's happened in your life and then you've created this story because it's, it's actually what's happened. But during time, you start to let go of that story bit by bit. Gradually, you start to, you know, as time goes on, you start to let things go. But often when we get to this bit, we're sometimes scared to let go of that story because we don't want to invalidate that we've maybe wasted six months, a year. Some folk maybe even waste a couple of years on things that you really can't change. So what I want to look at is, I want you to take some time to look at the story of your life, the story that you tell yourself. And you know, if it's past, if it can't be changed, then wouldn't you want to try and look at that story and make it a more empowering one. And there is a few steps towards making the story of your life more empowering. And you know, and I can remember going through this myself um, and I got to that bit where I was like, right, you know, this, this, the buck stops with me. I need to try and take my life. I need to, I need to run my own life. Nobody's going to fix this for me. I need to do it myself. And the first stage you get through is, you know, you have got to a bit, through circumstances, through a build-up of events in your life, you've got to a bit where you're seeing things worse than what they are. Because we do, you know, because you can't change it's past. So the first thing that you, you want to do is you want, you want to look at how you look at life and see it for what it is. Don't see it for worse than what it is. Just see it for how it is. Start telling yourself the truth. Start telling yourself the truth, like you've you've already made it this far. You know, it's not you know it's not it's not took you out. You're still here. You're still living to tell the tale. So the truth of the matter is, factually, you've got past it all. Because if you hadn't got past it, you wouldn't be where you are now. But you're held. You're locked into the story that you're making worse, and you're justifying it every single day. So if there's been something that you want to get through. Take a look at it and see it for what it is. Not worse than what it is, just see it for the truth. And the truth is you were hurt. The truth is you were maybe let down. The truth is somebody may have betrayed you. The truth is maybe somebody physically hurt you. So get very, very factual with the truth. And this might bring up a wee bit of anger at times. But after that, your pride should start to come through. And then the next way to look at the story of where you are is, first of all, don't see it worse than, worse than what it is. See it how it is, then ask yourself a question, right, I can't change it, how do I want it to be? How do I want it to be? And see, often, right, often if you look at it, during that event, and I don't blame MD for this, because when you're in it, it's like when you're driving down a road, and you end up 40 miles down the wrong, way, the, the wrong road, at that time you don't know you're going down that road, but when you get to the end of that, you wouldn't get back to the start and then drive again. So why do that in your life? So what I'm saying is, now that you've, you're at this bit where you are now, look, I bet there were some things that you used to do before you had that crash, before you had that bad bit in your event, bad event in your life. Maybe, you know, 
maybe you were easier on yourself, maybe you looked after yourself better, maybe you were eating better foods, I don't know, watching better things, listening to better things. So once you're at this bit where you're looking at your story of your life for what it is, not for worse than what it is, just for the truth of what it is, then you've got to see how you would like it to be. You know, see it a bit better, just see your life that wee bit better. And then when you can see your life that bit better, next stage is you've got to then make it how you see it. But believe it or not, you know, that's how you hear people getting over things like somebody dying quicker than what they did a relationship. Or if they've been abused or, you know, physically or emotionally abused in a relationship, it, it takes them a long time to go over that. And here's the thing, it's like when you hold on to something, the longer you hold on to it, the worse it becomes. But it's the story that becomes worse. And then you start justifying the reason you are where you are. So if you firmly want it, and it takes a lot, of, it takes some effort. You know, fear is your imagination undirected. Faith is your imagination directed. It is not an easy thing to get out of this, but what else are you going to do? You're just going to keep telling yourself a story that you're no good. You're going to tell yourself that an event that's past, that can't be changed, no matter what happens, you can't change it. You can change the way you look at it, but you can't actually change that happen, what's happened then. And no matter how, how horrible that event was, you'll get through it. Because if you never get through it, you wouldn't be here to tell the story. So this, you know, this is the story of your life. And if you want to have an empowering story, look at something that's held you back. See it for what it is, even if it pisses you off. See it for the truth. Then, how would you like it to be? You can't change it. You know, and how you would like it to be shouldn't be, well, I want to get back and make it better. It's done. You can't make it better. So how you want it should, to be should be, you know, I want to feel happier, I want to get out more, I want to do more then. Make it that way. But believe it or not, you're locked in by the story that you tell yourself every day. And the last 10 minutes before you sleep reprograms the next five hours of your subconscious mind. Wouldn't that be a good time to write a new story and, you know, maybe tell yourself that new story? And that's the, you know, the, the difference in the quality of my life is the story I tell myself every single day. And it usually starts with how, you know, how do I want it to be? How would I like it to be? And every now and again I get caught up with events in my life and when that happens I look at it. I see what's happening, but I see it for what it is. Even though if you, you know, people have hurt you or have done things that you think is unethical, I see it for what it is. There's no point in making it worse than what it is just to validate your emotions. So see it for the truth. Then, once you've done that, even if it gets you pissed off, it's a higher energy than feeling guilty or regretful. So then with a wee bit of temporary anger, you can go to a place of pride and go, right now, how the fuck do I want it to be moving forward? This is my life. And I'm the only person that's going to make this better. And then make it how you want it to be. Simple. But create a story. And if you're reading a book and you were stuck in a chapter that was bollocks, would you not just read on? Or would you just keep reading that chapter over and over and over until it's ingrained into your nervous system? But that's what we do. We get through an event in our life and then we just keep going over it and over it and over it until it's just, it just owns every part of our emotion. And it can sometimes be the smallest things that end up holding people back. But you've got the ability to change the story and make it the way you want it to be. All right, listen, that's the Monday clip for today.